An urgent race to contain the new COVID variant. Pretty well everybody at some point will get Omicron. Please get that booster. Booster. Boosters. Booster doses do give very effective protection. We don't know how long that's going to last. It is possible to be reinfected. The question is how long will you remain immune and how immune are you? In very basic terms, immunity is just your body's ability to fight off an infection, whether that comes from bacteria, a virus, a parasite, a fungus, it's your body's ability to protect you from becoming sick. Right off the bat, it's important to say that for most people, vaccination against COVID-19 will induce a more effective and longer lasting immune response than the protection induced by natural infection with the virus. Some research led by Australia has found that the immunity you develop after COVID infection and the strength of that immunity correlates to how severe the disease was for you. So how high your viral load was when you were sick. Whereas a vaccine is a controlled dose, you know, it's a set dosage that has been monitored and studied. It's safe with a more predictable response for most people. Keep in mind that infection with COVID also comes with a lot of risks, the potential for long COVID, the potential for complications. So it's just not the same. You know, you're much better off relying on vaccines and a booster. And again, as we pointed out before, vaccination does seem to give a longer lasting, more predictable immunity. It is fair to say that in the first month after you've had an infection with COVID, once you're recovered, you're much less likely to catch it and pass it on. Your immunity is going to be pretty high, especially if you've been vaccinated as well. But as we keep saying, you know, how long this protection lasts is unclear. But the recent infection does mean that some public health orders around isolation might not apply to you. You can get your booster basically as soon as you're fully recovered from the virus, which is generally for most people about four to six weeks after infection. So there's no need to wait. And in the short term, boosters can strengthen your protection up to 88% against reinfection and 98% against serious illness. On top of that, they boost any immunity that you might have generated from an infection with COVID-19. So they're adding to that. And there's no way of really knowing what your immune response has done in re reaction to an infection with COVID-19. So no matter what, a vaccine is gonna boost and amplify that response.